Thank you for watching Back Porch Wisdom with Pastor Rob Wynn. We pray that this weekly broadcast will be a blessing to you. And now here is Pastor Rob Wynn with today's message. Hi, this is Pastor Rob Wynn from Cornerstone Church in Linden, Alabama. I want to welcome you to Back Porch Wisdom today. And we're talking about being perfected in faith. We know that when you believe that Jesus was born of a virgin, lived a sinless life, died an atoning death, was raised from the dead, that's key, uh, and you ask Him into your heart, we know you get born again. You get, you, you get saved. And you've been dealt the measure of faith. And so it's not a point of whether you have faith or don't have faith. It's a point of whether you use faith or you don't use faith. You, you let it go dormant or you, you let it, uh, or you just omit it from your life. Many people do that. They, they depend on, for instance, you find where people, uh, they're Christians and instead of using God's method of uh, uh, helping them go to sleep at night, they take a sleeping pill uh, and, and when, when if you believe God, uh, uh, he'll give his beloved rest. And so that's just a mild form of what we call unbelief or disobedience. And you find in the New Testament, in Hebrews chapter uh, 4, uh, verse uh, 1, and we, we talked about it from the standpoint of there's today. There's always today. If you'll just hear His Word and not harden your heart. In other words, don't not do what it says. Then, then if you do, the, the more you go along, the harder your heart gets. And it's not, God's not, it's not that God's not trying to get to you. He can't get to you because you've resisted Him. That's what we call unbelief or disobedience. And he says it's because maybe you know his works, but you don't know his ways. And sometimes you hear this, people go, well, you know God, he just works in mysterious ways. Well, yeah, he does to people who don't read the Bible. Yeah, but if you'll read the Bible, you'll find out that he wants, this is the will of God written down. And you'll find that when you apply the written word to your life, you'll find things change. You start understanding things that you've never understood. And so He wants you to know that. In, in other words, He says, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in health even as your soul's prospering. So if you're, if you're not prospering in your flesh, in your body health, and prosperity, uh, or in your mind you're, there's confusion, then, then you're not putting in yourself what you need to put in. You need to put in the Word of God because that will make your mind, your will, and your emotions prosper. And so we're talking about the fact of what's going to hinder you from being perfected in faith to where you will actually do the Great Commission and witness to people and you will actually uh, lay hands on the sick and see him recover like Jesus said in his name. And so because the Bible's not just for you or to you, the Bible's for somebody else. And he wants to build you up in Christ so that you will actually be a witness of Jesus. Jesus is the head and we are the body who have got Jesus in their hearts. And so here going to Hebrews 4, let's start in verse 1. Let us therefore fear, lest a promise being left us of entering into His rest, any of you should seem to come short of it. For unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them, but the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. And so you need to mix faith. And with when you hear the Bible, and you don't, you 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 need to hear it uh, with an open heart, an open mind, because there's coming a point when you're going to need it. 
you're going to need that you can do this. Let us therefore come boldly under the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. See, grace is not just uh, favor, just dropping out of the sky. It is divine inspiration upon the heart that causes you to walk out the will of God for, for your life, like uh, uh, believing that you're healed by the stripes of Jesus, believing that you can prosper financially because Jesus was made poor so that you might be made rich. And then you find, here's grace. Grace gives us what we do not deserve, while mercy does not give us what we do deserve. And so, He wants to take care of you all the days of your life. And He wants... 1 John 5, 4 says, Whoever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory... Uh, by which we overcome the world, faith from us. And you could say it like this. The one that is born of God subdues the world, and this is the means by which we subdue the world, faith from us. And so we want Jesus to be able to perfect us in faith. And we don't want, we want to keep ourselves from, from walking uh, in a natural sense, just by the capability of our mind. And we want to be led by God's Spirit and by His Word. His Word doesn't ever change. It's always the same. And so, Galatians 5, 4 says this. He says, I suppose this is not what you mean, but when you try to live by your own religious plans and, and projects, you're cut off from Christ, and you've been uh, separated from grace. And so we don't want to separate ourselves in any form or fashion. Doesn't mean you're not going to heaven. It just means that you're not going to get what Jesus wants you to have here on earth. So today, if you've never asked Jesus into your heart, today is the time to do so. And if you're backslidden, Today is the time to pray and get yourself right with God. Pray this prayer with me. Heavenly Father, I believe that Jesus Christ is Lord and that you raised Him from the dead to save me. I believe it with all my heart and I've said it with my mouth just like you told me to. And therefore, I'm your child. I am in right standing with you. In Jesus' name. Now, a really good book that was put out by a man named Kenneth E. Hagen called The Believer's Authority. You need to get that book. Now, if you get on YouTube, go to, go to uh, The Believer's Authority. You'll see, this, you'll see uh, uh, this man, Kenneth E. Hagen, and there are three videos. The, be sure you start with number one. It'll lead you into number two and number three. And it will revolutionize your life. How do I know? Because it did mine. So, go to my website, Cornerstone Church, the number four, the letter U.com, and find out uh, all that you need to know about us and when our church is, and uh, you can see other videos. God bless you, and have a good day. If you're ever in the Linden, Alabama area, we invite you to worship with us at Cornerstone Church. For more information and other resources, visit our website at cornerstonechurchforyou.com.